And speaking of which, if a filmmaker goes to AFM, what should they be prepared to answer? You know, when we see these people pitch their startups or whatever, they, it's like they have these answers ready to go. What same thing for someone going to pitch their film at AFM? Um, again, we kind of go back to the idea of people go to AFM ready to pitch themselves and their content and what they have and what they're bringing and how great it is. And they'll just go door to door to door, you know, this is what I am, this is what I have, me, 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 me. And uh, uh, there's very little attention paid to the opposite side. We've all seen these guys at bars who just hit on one girl and then it fails, next girl, next girl, and you just, it's like just walking down an aisle, you know, one after the other, and you just hear all the doors slamming shut. And it's that kind of concept of a producer, a filmmaker, a writer has to look at each company and really understand what it is that they do. They are in the business of selling and distributing content that is very much in alignment with the content that the producer, the director, the writer is trying to sell. Um, they have to go into the conversation, not me, 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 this is what I have to sell you. How much money do you have? It's much more, we seem to have a lot in common here. Um, would there be opportunities for me to maybe showcase my work in case you ever need a writer uh, uh, that you can call upon if you're in a crunch? The first chapter of writing for The Green Light is about that. It's about we pre-sold a movie based on a poster. It got greenlit in, at, a, at a board meeting and then it was assigned to a producer who's pretty new to the company. And so he didn't go to an agency and start, you know, combing through scripts. He didn't go to our back room and start reading scripts from page one. He called a friend of his he knew he could write and he got the job you know, the next day. He needed a script in three weeks because that's when they started production. And he had 9,000 other things to focus on producing that project. So he just wanted to know the script component was completed. So when you're going to AFM, it's kind of the same idea where these are all companies who are there for one thing and that's they're trying to sell their content to distributors. They're trying to get their, I mean, to international distributors to, to broker deals. They're trying to make money for the content that they're bringing to the market. That's why they have expensive booths set up. So you have to walk in that door with something to offer them, a way to help make their job easier. And I find that with that approach, you stand out from the masses of people going, me, 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 my script, my script. And you go, this company just isn't in alignment with what I'm selling, so I'm not gonna waste their time. This company very much is. And you have to be respectful of the fact that at a market like that, that's not necessarily the best place to have that conversation on the fly. It's much more of a make the initial connection, get the contact details, find out if there's an appropriate time in the near future to have that conversation.